All right, hello everyone. Coming to you from my bed because it's the only place I have to film. I don't know why I think that's so hilarious, but I do. It's just funny. Um, you know, the downside of living in New York City is that there's no space and every square inch of space is used for storage because that's the way it is. Um, anyway, I'm here just to do a quick little update. I was gonna do some body blushing today, but my apartment's a mess and I can't focus on art when um, I'm sitting in filth. So I've gotta clean up and then maybe Thursday or Friday, but I do have a big project for my secret Santa that I'm working on. I'm gonna make her a doll. Watch her watch this and then I ruined it, but I'm sure she doesn't. She's not that sort of girl. Anyway, I'll show that on here too when I finish. Um, anyway, I wanted to start with the lingerie that I've done for Cameron. I'm pretty proud of it. I'm just gonna show ya. So, if you've been here before, which some of you probably have, you've seen the underwear that I made the bra yesterday. And I'm pretty proud of it. It came out really good. It's really nice. Um, and the thing that I'm most proud of is that I did it, the sewing and the patterning in about two and a half hours, which is pretty quick. Um, I've done underwear before. It's been an ordeal. I've struggled and I've never been an underwear maker. I went to school obviously for fashion, for costume design. I have all those. I have all the skills, but doing it on a tiny scale is a whole different level. And you have to like <clears throat> learn how to actually sew clothes for dolls because the steps, the order of steps is different because of the size. And I basically learned how to sew for dolls by buying vintage Barbie patterns off of Instagram, not Instagram, the other one, Etsy, and just reading the instructions and sewing a ton of those. So I have like a million Barbie clothes that I can never use because my Barbies stay in one outfit per season. I'll show you that someday. Um, <clears throat> but it did teach me all the basics of doll sewing. So if you want to learn how to sew for dolls, buy those vintage Barbie patterns, read the instructions, sew a whole bunch of them up, and then you'll understand, you know, the order of steps is just different from people sewing because of the tiny scale but um <clears throat> so I struggled with the first bras that I did like a lot it took me weeks to figure out the pattern figure out the sewing and granted I was using a stretch so it was a lot harder but to do that whole bra in two and a half hours I'm pretty proud of myself and I only did a first muslin which was wrong a second muslin which was right and then I just took a chance and cut it out of the real fabric and it sewed up perfectly and it fits her great and it's so cute and I'm just happy with that and I love her in the red because she's Jack Parsons Scarlet Woman so she'll be in a lot of reds um, another thing for her that I've had for a while and if you've seen been on my own Instagram which I'm gonna link here because I figured out how to edit um, not link, just show you, show you a graphic of it, um, is this beautiful robe, which, you know, she's a robed girl, she doesn't really dress in clothes because it's like, you know, too much of an effort, she lounges, she does her magic, she does her spells, and I just thought that was really perfect, and now she can't live in it because it's black and I'm scared it's gonna stain her, but her photographs, it's really beautiful and it looks really nice on. So that's the update on Cameron. Her wig is finished. It should be coming in at some point within the next few weeks, hopefully, with the season it gets, it gets delayed. But I'm very excited, and when I get that, I'll come up, come on, and show you that also. Um, the next thing I'm gonna show, which I've never shown on this channel before, is my posh lingerie. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen this. I work on this with my dolly friend, Jason. Now, um, I'm not a talented yarn artist. I've tried knitting, I've tried crocheting. It just never goes particularly well for me. Um, <clears throat> so all the detail work is by Jason. I've patterned these and sewed them up and then I give them to him and he does all the detail. Now I can bead and do embroidery, but uh, I gave this to him and this is what he came up with and I just think this is so beautiful. This is my favorite of our lingerie. It's the most detailed one that we did. Where's the back? Really pretty little plot enclosures. I don't know if you can see them. They're not both done on either piece because they're slippery and slidey. I feel like the holes might need to come come in a little. That's look at her bum. She's just so pretty. That's that. She's got these stockings on and these shoes. Those are by Pasha. 
Now this girl is in the coven with Cameron and her ability is to travel to different dimensions. And she's based on the character from the OA, Prairie Nina, the OA, whatever you want to call her. This girl's name is Nina because she's Russian and Nina was the OA's Russian name. And so I made this wig for her. It's just a synthetic fiber. It's that uh, the silky one, the nice one. I don't know. And it's really cute. I just wanted to give her a nice little bob. I made this wig when I was like super sick and it's one of the best cut wigs that I've ever made. I'm like maybe I need to be deathly ill to be able to make a nice wig. I struggle with wigs. Again, I feel like it's like a fiber thing. Like if it's, if it's a fiber that you have to like string together, like I can't do it. I don't know why. Maybe I just need to practice, but I'm pretty sure it's just like conceptually, like I don't get it. Um, so that's her. She's one of the most detailed ones we did. These, this type of lacy embellished lingerie will be for sale at one point. We're just waiting to hear from Pasha. We're trying to work with her. If it doesn't work out with her, we'll just, we have a website for cooking up. So these will be for sale. Um, we have simpler versions too, but I just wanted to show a sampling, which is the most ornate, most beautiful one. I have another wig for her too, because she travels through space and time. And I feel like she needs different looks depending on where she is. That's her sort of like Lily look, you know. And this is her little blonde look. This wig doesn't fit all the time, but when I leave it sitting out because it's made of glue, it shrinks up. So it fits great right now. Um, this is her sort of like now, now land wig. Just stick it on there. Her head is snappy. I need to re hot glue it. So that's her, her, her now wig, like living in this particular dimension. This is the hair that she would have. And I asked my mom for one of them mobile wigs for the holiday. So we'll see if she comes through. I don't know that she supports my hobby necessarily. She just thinks it's expensive and a waste of time and money, obviously, but whatever. It makes me happy, so she should, she should be happy. Um, but that's, that's one of those lingeries. I talk a lot about it because I'm very proud of this project and I like collabing with my friend because, you know, it's fun. So that's her, really proud of her, she's beautiful. I made this wig too, this one's not as, not as good, not as, not as good as the other one. But I still like it, it looks good on her. Um, next thing, uh, I made this too. Let me just show you this. This little jumpsuit was actually patterned by my dolly friend like really got that 70s vibe. It's like a Bobovi size. Um, I don't know that it's Cameron's style, but he has one that he was working with. And he had patterned this and the pattern was slightly off. So I took the pattern, I fixed the pattern and this is the jumpsuit. It fits really well now. The color is so gorgeous. I love the purple. So maybe I'll put that on Cameron at some point, just, just for modeling purposes. It's like very low. It's got a nice deep armhole, a lot of side boob situation. It's like very 70s. Happy with that little guy. Oops. Um, the next thing is Ellie. And this is where I'm gonna put some photographs in here to show you the various Ellie things that there are to see. But here she is. I've made her, she's got her backpack on, which is heavily featured in the original script that I wrote the play. And um, here she is. She does have a different pair of shoes on because they looked good with this outfit. And I know she, I said that she only had one pair of shoes. She might have she might have two pairs of shoes. They aren't they don't fit her. Shoes shoes in the BJD hobby are like a living nightmare. Just trying to find something that fits and doesn't look like a goddamn cartoon. Like ugh, such a struggle, such an ordeal. <clears throat> anyway, I was sick last week, so I didn't get much done. But this was the outfit that I made which doesn't have buttons on it yet because I'm waiting for the right color in the mail. I don't even know if they're going to be the right color. Um, but this is a cute little shirt that I made. It's just a sort of oversized short sleeve little Hawaiian cut shirt out of these weird printed cottons, sort of like granny printed cottons. That's like all she wears, like strange printed cottons. And then these weird purple pants 
because that's what I drew in the in the picture, which I'm going to insert here so you can see it. I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be great. Um, yeah, because she's wearing purple pants in the picture, and they're just sort of like a fifty cigarette pant because the girl she's based on aesthetically is sort of fifties, other than this hairstyle, which is sort of fifties because she's got her big peach fringe. Um, so that's her pretty proud of that. It took me like a week to make it. Oh, they're not shot in the back. Um, because I was sick and I just like couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I sewed the pants so that they were too long. The shirt I had to fix like 10 times, but you know, that's what a seam ripper is for. So there she is. Um, I like that outfit on her. I think it's really cute. It's just sort of one of her less ugly outfits actually, in my opinion, other than the colors. So that's her. And then I also made her, oh, I should have grabbed the book before, this dress, which I'll do a um, picture of her in the dress, this dress, here. I wish it wasn't so blown out. There we go, it's a little better. It's just like a really ugly, striped, purple, sort of dowdy, old lady sort of fabric. My friend Jason's a quilter, so I was like, hey, do you have any like ugly floral, cottons and he was like do I I am a quilter of course I do so he found every fabric that I needed in his home and just gave them to me so I could make this wardrobe for this doll this is just a purple striped floral not particularly attractive not supposed to be um, I'll put her in it next time I do a video with her um, that's that um, I'm gonna grab the book for a second oh good and I still have it marked um, so, the girl she's based on, which is Elaine May, obviously, loosely, very loosely, because I love Elaine May, and she's a queen, and she's the most amazing director and actress and writer of all time, and if you don't know who she is, look her up, because she's a queen. Uh, <clears throat> the dress was originally based on this photograph, and as you can see, she's bent in half, and it's falling off of her body. And you can't really tell what it looks like, but I sort of made it up. But um, the fabric that I used in my photo was something that I found on the internet. And it was good and I liked it and I thought the color was nice, but it wasn't the right fabric. And then Jason had this stripey, it's a similar sort of print, a stripey fabric in his house. And I was like, yes, yes, that's the one. I'm just very happy now about that. So that, that's her. Hello, little Lane. When she was little, she's doing some improv there with a couple of gals from the compass. It's a big giant glare on it. That's better. This book, the compass. That's what my play is based on. Um, I feel like that's all I have sitting here. That's that's all the stuff I have. That's what I've done this week, which you know was something but not as much as I wanted to get done and I really should have done some body blushings but now my life is going to be monopolized by this um this doll that I'm going to make with my secret hair which I'm so excited about and Jason's got um his boyfriend he's got two they're a couple which is so sweet I love it and one of them is a writer and one of them is a set designer and the set designer always does her boxes for us and the writer does like all the writing on the outside so it's really like a big collab between the four of us and I just like I'm so appreciative to have like other artsy friends that are willing to like help me and support me in my in my hobby and I'm so glad that we can work together and make things for people that I hope that they love and have loved in the past so <clears throat> yeah that's 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 the past week on the sort of upcoming, upcoming, is that my bangs? I cut my bangs last week and I clearly didn't do a very good job. I got distracted by them, whatever. Um, yeah, so that's last week and the coming week and I'll update you again next time I have something to show. So, hope you all have a great day. Um, it's raining here. I hope it's not raining where you are. It's been raining since like Sunday. It won't stop raining. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.